What's up everyone, this is Cybernat, and today we are opening up some more X and Y packs. Uh, these are going to be a little bit different. As you see, I got a normal pack, and then I got like these, I don't know what you would call them, promo packs? I don't know what you want to call them, but they are, uh, of course, still X and Y pack, but you get like a coin, I'm not going to show you guys a little better, Zorark on it, and you get a Salamence card for this one, and also I found a Dragonite one. I was also, I was looking around just seeing if these were like the only two like this, because I mean, I don't keep up to date with uh, Pokemon news, so I don't know on these, and uh, I didn't see any others, so yeah, <laughs> I was hoping I could, maybe there was like at least three promos or, or more, so yeah, let's see what we get. Also, opening up blister packs, so I know that's going to be fun for me. Usually I go ahead and get the blister packs, you know, like open them up on that, but since these have like the card in them, I felt like that kind of would ruin it. Alright, put the card to the side, let me get the coin out. Coin stuck in there, there we go. Alright, here's the coin. You can see, I always like these Pokemon coins, I've always kind of collected a few of them. See, there we go, we have good reflection on that. Yeah, I, I like the coins. And uh, for Salamence, I'm not too sure if it's really a good card or not. I just like Salamence. So, <laughs> plain and simple, I like Dragon Pokemon. So, Dragon and Fire types seem like are pretty much my favorite types, I would say. So, yeah, Salamence, awesome. Wish they would have had a Flygon one as well. I really like Flygon. Let's see what we get from this pack, though. It has Xerneas on it. So, that means we'll get a Xerneas, right? That'd be awesome. I'd like a Xerneas. He's... I like him... Uh, it's like my favorite, I guess, of the new legendaries. Right, let's see what we get. We have Pumpkaboo, uh, Scatterbug, uh oh, we have something good, I kind of spoiled it. Panpour, Water Energy, Rhyhorn, Furfro, and Venusaur EX. Oh, I thought it was the Mega for a second, but an EX is freaking awesome. That's very nice. I got a, what was the other one? A full art, I believe, of Venusaur EX uh, in one of my other pack openings. So this will go with it pretty well. Maybe I'm supposed to build some kind of Venusaur deck. I don't know if there's such a thing, if that's possible. Nonetheless, this is very awesome to get out of a random pack. Also, we have uh, Volavit, uh, Cassius, and uh, Dunsparce. So yeah, for people wondering, I've decided not to go with the whole card trick thing. Honestly, when I watch people do openings on Pokemon, it annoys me to see the card trick. Uh, I feel like you're going to see the same cards no matter. I mean, I'm going to show you the whole pack. So I feel like it's kind of a waste of time. So yeah, I just don't like the card trick. Because, like I said, we're going to go through all the commons and in, in all anyway. Let's see, trying to get Dragonite out of there safely. Kind of hard to. Again with the coin, but I mean, you guys already saw that. And then we have Dragonite. It's a little, you can tell he was in that plastic. Just put a book on him, he'll be perfectly fine. So yeah, looks really awesome. Like I said, I'm not too sure. People tell me if the Silence Dragonite are, you know, actually playable in a game. I don't know if there's a deck around them or, or anything. But uh, yeah, they just look cool. <laughs> That's how I choose my Pokemon. Alright. Put the code over to the side. We're starting to gather a pretty good amount of codes again, so we'll have a opening on that soon. All right, here we go. We have Chespin, Taylo, uh, Spritzy, Ladybug, Lillipop. We have a Talonflame. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Reverse. And a Tauros. After that, we have a Volibee, Cassius, and Dutton Sparse. Wait a minute. Weren't those the last three <laughs> last time? <laughs> that's kind of weird. All right. No complaints, though. And then our last pack, the regular uh, like booster pack thing. I do... I do like how they do this, though. Ah, oh, it's another Xerneas pack, too. That's kind of cool. I like how Pokemon does this, though. I hope that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! will kind of copy them on this, because uh, I like that better than, like, the blister packs. It's a lot easier to open. Or at least for me, it is. Konami needs to copy them on that. <laughs> also, it just kind of looks cool. The design. I mean, whoever came up with that had a smart idea. Alright, there we go. Code card, and see what we get. Alright, we have Panpour, Pumpkaboo, Bunnelby, uh, Phantub, uh, Inkay, uh, Timber, Reverse, Macargo. Oh, I thought it was hollow for a second. Macargo looks so awesome. He's like walking away from explosions or something, like like a boss, you know? <laughs> He's awesome looking. Uh, let's see, uh, Team Player, Grunt, Rexian, and Evo Soda. So yeah, that's what I got. Uh, we got an EX, so I think that's definitely worth uh, from the packs. If you want to see, I guess, the EX and the two promos. So yeah, I think that was pretty cool. Like I said, I want to know if any of these are playable, if there's any decks around these that are actually really good. 
I'm debating on either going with, uh, yeah, they won't even lay down. I'm debating on, though, if I should actually build, you know, some kind of Blastoise deck, or I might actually just wait, since I've heard about the Charizard cards. Well, I really like Charizard, of course. Like I said, I like Fire Pokemon and Dragons, and, you know. So, I'm thinking that uh, I might just wait on that, and uh, probably get a box of that set, too. I believe that's March. I don't know if it's early or later March, but I am planning to get a box of that set for an opening. So uh, I'll probably just build it back around the Charizard cards, which I'm sure a lot of people are going to be doing. So they probably won't be too cheap. But I think that's the one I want to go with. So I think I've finally decided at least what I want to build. Uh, if you guys can help me out with that, though, if there are any cards that, you know, that are already out that will work with the new Charizard cards that you think I should probably get before they rise in price or just go ahead and get them because I'll need them, uh, tell me in the comments because honestly I don't know or if you have a good idea for a deck list, I, I want to try to learn more of this stuff. I'm just, you know, it's really hard to keep all this in my head and then all the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff and all that too. So if you guys can kind of help me on that, that'd be awesome. Also, I am planning on uh, starting to record actually playing the card game, you know, through the computer on the showdown or whatever. So if anyone out there plays that a lot. I mean, I don't know if... I'm, I assume a lot of you do. Uh, maybe we can meet on there and uh, also play a few games on there. Maybe you guys can kind of teach me how to play the game a little bit better and we can record that. So yeah, tell me on that. And uh, remember, my username on there is Siren 610 I believe that's how you can add me on Pokemon... Uh, the TCG Online thing. I forgot the exact name. I'm sorry. <laughs> my brain's everywhere today. Uh, so yeah, be sure to add me on that. We can do some uh, battles. And also, I do plan to uh, work on some other Let's Plays and stuff very soon. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure to come and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. See you.